wide open spaces and a view of our camp. Look at that, there we go. There's Angama on the left and our camp tucked away on the right. Slowly but surely coming together and I have exciting news actually. Today is the day. We are moving in. We're moving out of Angama's staff village. They've been very kind putting us up there and we are going to be moving into our camp. Aren't we excited, Dave? Oh, yes. We are so excited. We have no idea. Yesterday we went and opened up the tent and just sort of imagined being in it. And now we're at the point where we can actually move in. I think, I've heard rumors that the, the bathrooms are even working, Dave. That's right. That's right. The kitchen is up and running. We don't have toilet paper yet, but we will. <laughs> I'm excited. I can't wait to move into our camp. This isn't the direction I want to be facing at all. This isn't where I want to be at all. I want to get to the river crossing that's somewhere over there. But we came upon an elephant bull with some displaying some very odd behavior. He's very, very thin, unbelievably thin, and not, not skeletal, but definitely underweight, which is unusual because, of course, we've just come from the time of plenty in terms of it being the wet season. And he just wasn't having any of it, was he, Dave? He did not want to let us pass. His body language was peculiar. It wasn't like a young bull threatening us. It was an old boy telling us to leave him alone. So we're going around. So we're back at the giraffe once again. Unfortunately, they seem to have moved off into some relatively thick croton thickets. Okay, so we're going to go all the way around make our way to the river crossing. While we do that, it sounds as though Tristan has been doing some tracking. 